Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4 with the Rights of Man expansion and the 1.19 Denmark patch as Denmark. We're kind of expanding into the Baltic right now. We've we've taken a lot of territory. We've kind of cut off the Livonians from the coast, sort of, kind of. We might attack the Teutons right now. I want to go for Danzig, but it's going to be incredibly expensive to, to take this, this territory, so... Hmm... I might have to give it a few years. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love to attack the Teutons right now. We actually do have a military tech advantage. We have military tech five. They only have four. Damn it. We're losing more prestige. Really? This prestige problem is going to be kind of significant because we do need to try and keep Sweden loyal. Death to spies. Sounds good to me. Hmm. I gotta consider them options here, because if I invade here, we attack, we fight Bremen and Danzig. Can't attack Lubick, because they'll be defended. We make, it, we make an enemy of Poland if we attack the Teutons and take Danzig, but Danzig, it's 16 development, come on. It's a coastal center trade, we've got the Vistula Estuary, it's like, ugh, you want it. It's beautiful. I even have a claim on it, although claims don't affect aggressive expansion anymore, so... I can afford to wait a few years. Um, I actually don't have that much aggressive expansion with, with any of these guys. 25 with the Teutons. So taking just Danzig would be probably putting it about the coalition, about at the coalition um, threshold there. Damn it, did I never start this integration? That's right, I did not, okay. Well, before anything else happens, before I forget because of my tunnel vision, let's go ahead and annex Holstein really quick. And we're going to go ahead and move the fleet into prime attacking position. I think it's worth it. I think, you know what? Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Let's go march on. Um, obviously, there's a lot of forts that we have to go through to get to Danzig. We're going to march through Marienburg, Marienburg, uh, Konigsberg, and Memel. That should be just fine. It'd be nice if I could vassalize this dude. That'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, we can we can declare Bremen's gonna be our enemy, but that's that's just fine. It's okay. Can I march here? No, I cannot. Okay, so we're gonna blockade this guy. Let's go and siege down the Teutons. I'm actually gonna tell my subjects to go and attack Bremen, preferably Sweden, because he's stronger of the two. Norway's strong, but. I mean, Norway did get a development boost, but let's be fair. Sweden with a 20% infantry combat ability, like, you don't... You can't compete with that. <laughs> it just doesn't happen. And the last adjusting tournament forward to glory. Oh, yeah. Uh, we have some force limit as far as ships, so I'd like to remedy that sometime in the near future. Can I march on Konigsberg? I can. Wow. Okay. Can't march past Konigsberg. Yes, you can. You can actually go through Poland. No, we're gonna stay in relative isol. Uh, we're gonna stay stay in the relative vicinity. Are you serious? Whoa! Oh, what? Because they got they got fully occupied. You actually you actually lose annexation progress. That is really interesting. Whoa! That's that must be new or something. Holy crap! We're still at five out of four. We've been losing a lot of Diplo here for a while. Hmm. That's going to suck if Holstein siege down. Oh well. We already got Danzig in the bag. Apparently we're going to have some Novgorodian separatists. Uh, I already raised autonomy here, so we're just going to have to fight them eventually. Uh, we won the siege of Memel. Okay, and we're preferably going to win the siege here of Konigsberg. That might be enough to actually make this peace happen. I just want Danzig. That's all I want. Carnal sins. The need for an heir goes before the need of forgiveness. A 451 heir with a weak claim? Damn, a 451, huh? I mean, this guy's 43 years old. We have time for an heir. We do. We do. What happens if, if my king dies? A noble from House Rubrikovich succeeds to the throne. Ooh, that's, uh. That's kind of weird. Yeah, because our, our actually, our heir is, um, our, our ruler is infertile. No, yeah, I the legitimacy is gonna kill us. That I just know that for like a fact. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know all your treaties with Bremen. Give me war reps too. Okay, so we should be able to take this without relatively, uh, with relatively little pain, I think. He'll accept this. So he's gonna give me Danzig. He's gonna give us ten. Uh, he's gonna give us war reparations, an old treaties with Bremen, and pay sixty-one ducats to Denmark. That sounds just beautiful. And we'll give this to the burgers in time. In time, not at the moment. We actually need to march the army back to Ingmerland and Neva. Okay, so we're doing very well. You know, it's weird. I don't know if they changed. Ooh, peasants getting uppity. These things happen. Or lose some admin. Damn it, lose 10 legitimacy, huh? I'm going to have to pay the admin on that one. I'd rather not lose the legitimacy. So I don't know if they changed aggressive expansion. It seems like there's a lot less generated now. That might just be me. Uh, what is happening to Muscovy? Are they winning this war? They better be winning this war. Yeah, Novgorod and, and Muscovy are going at it. He's actually losing. He's got a negative war score. When the hell does Muscovy have negative war score against Novgorod? How is this possible? France declared war on Nevers? Ooh. Yep, looks like Burgundy is, uh, is at war with France now. They're going to be dismembered. What's the supply limit here? Supply limit of 32. Holy crap. That's huge. Okay, so let's annex this guy once again. I did not know that annexations were, like, canceled. That's that's crazy. I did not know you could do that. Wow, Ludwig of Hesse is a new emperor. Holy crap. The levy? Elaborate court life. No need for such things. We lose some money and we lose taxes. I'm not gonna lie, that concerns me. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie, 20 loyalty, that is a lot. I will go ahead and take that. We should be able to manage. There we go. No more corruption. See? Yes. Excellent. And Danzig. No, this is for... Yeah, this is over here. Is there any trade provinces here? Nope. Not that I see. Okay. This already belongs to the burgers, so we've got nothing to worry about there. We have total trade power. Uh, oh, no. Lubick actually still has the most trade power here in the Baltic. Fascinating. You dirty bastards. We're going to give this to the burgers eventually as well. Prestige is better. Uh, manpower has been actually pretty decent. Mm, even money is not too bad. We don't have any advisors though, so that could be better. We have Ocel and Goldingen as cores now. England is going through the Lollard Rebellions, I think. The Duke of Burgundy has died. Who got the inheritance? It looks like Castile did. Oh, damn. Castile got the inheritance. Okay. So we have the Castilian Netherlands, and they already can, they already command Aragon and Naples. That's a pretty historical historical Spain right there, if you're asking me. The secession of Christopher III. As Christopher III is not getting any younger, the royal councillors began to look around for suitable heirs in the widest sense. One of our most powerful vassals, Adolf VIII of Schleswig-Holstein has um, put forth the idea that his nephew and heir, Christian, a descendant of Voldemort the Victorious, would be a suitable candidate. Damn, a 4 3 with a strong claim? Yeah, I'll take it. I will take it. How old is he? He's 25. And he's a navigator. 4 3 I'll take it. I'll, I'll take him as an heir. That's fine. Question of rights. Uh, this is Slesvig. Yeah, so I guess, I guess, like, we have a core here, and, you know, we're gonna annex this guy anyway, what does it matter? It's weird that you get events like that, I don't know, that's, that's super strange. Rebel Uprising, go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so I'm liking this campaign, man, this is going really well. Actually, really, really kind of surprised. Um, an invasion of Scotland would be cool, although that would mean war with France. Do you have claims up here? Yeah, taking the Scottish Highlands early on would be most preferable, I think. Um, can I tell Norway that I want this land? Yeah, that would be super cool. Norway, please invade... Or please help me invade Scotland. Can you do that? Um, war with France would, would be something, but we do have Austria and Muscovy as allies. It's not like it's impossible, right? You can, you can, you can beat them. Yeah, you can do it. You know. Uh, natives not assisting. Local native helpers are temporarily not assisting our fur trappers. Oh dear. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to remedy that. 
Poland declared war on the Teutons. Do you guys do you guys hate me? You do. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because they want my want my provinces. Sure, yeah, take mo take military access. We're gonna probably mop this guy up in 1471. That's a long time. I can get the claims now. And we'll mop that guy up in a little bit. Strategic marriage. Ever since the 13th century Treaty of Perth, Scotland has been obligated to pay a yearly sum to the Norwegian Kingdom in exchange for control of the Herbrides. Interesting. Orkney remains of the highest ranked titles in the Kingdom of Norway, however, one uh, that has at times been a stepping stone to the Norwegian throne. So we can end the conflict with Scotland and give them Orkney. And we get a royal marriage and a truce with Scotland. And Norway would hate me. Or we will actually not give up our claims. We actually get a permanent claim on the Western Isles and Sutherland. And Scotland gets some claims too. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'd rather go to war with them. England just declared war on Scotland too. Are you serious? Norway got a permanent claim here? Oh, guys. This is, this is our way in right now. England just declared the war. So now England and France are going to be at war. Unless... Unless France refused the call. Let us investigate. Yeah, England, why would you do that? Because France is busy? No, hell no. France would France join this war. So that means that England thinks he can win. Oh, this is this is something. This is something. Let's move the army to um let's move the army to Orkney. Yeah. This this might be our chance to invade Scotland and uh and to start the reconquest of the Isles. You know, rebuild Canute's great empire, you know? Let's get some more troops. Muscovy's now a great power. Ooh. Get, wow, we have five units of cap. Let's go ahead and get a sixth. That should be fine. Poland and Hungary. Poland, Hungary's already, um, yeah, a rival, although they're allied to Austria. Hmm. I, well, I don't know about picking them as a rival. I guess Poland could theoretically be a rival. I don't want Muscovy to be a rival. In fact, we should improve relations with not only him. Uh, who's this? Norway. Yeah, Norway. I don't need to improve relations with you anymore. Always, always improve relations with Sweden is, is nice. Let's see what, what, what comes up about this war. I want to see what happens here. I'm not gonna lie, making an England of both or making an enemy of both England and France is gonna be kind of a sticky thing on the continent. We're gonna bring over the entire army, 21,000 men over here, and preferably I could actually invade after this war. They're stuck in Lothian right now. And they'll they'll be there pretty soon. I don't know if France will France bring over troops? I don't think so. The Royal Navy is is, is very powerful. I don't know, man. Going to war with, with England, that's going to be something hard, but going to war with France right now is something something to consider as well. France is incredibly powerful. Relations improved for the Catholic faith. Poland's opinion of Denmark has changed by, what is it, plus 30? Cool. Could use more ships. Probably not a bad idea. Okay, so we can invade Aberdeenshire and Inverness. The English are in Lothian at the moment. And they'll have to send the army back to uh, to the mainland, the continent, to fight the French. Mm. Declare that war. Thulman won't join. France will. I think we declare this war. I think we do it. I, I just can't really pass up the opportunity. Okay, we're going to go down to speed now. Uh, do you want to attack me here, or do I want to attack him? These are both forts. So he's going to attack me here. He's got tech level 4. So we're going to just, we're going to probably stack wipe that, because I think we're military tech level ahead of him. Let's go. Let's go for Aberdeen. Sure, we're going to stack wipe that. Let's go for Inverness. Let's go for the Western Isles, and we'll see if we can cede all of that to us. The French have joined, most likely. Yeah, France is in on this. France is a little busy, though. They're actually losing to England right now. 
Holy crap. Do you see these forts? Whoa, dude. <laughs> Siege Simulator 2016. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, we want to improve relations with Austria. We've already capped out on relations with Muscovy, I think. Yep. Any other allies? Not at the moment, I don't think. We're going to annex Holstein. And we're just gonna be patient right now. We need to we need to wait for these sieges. Uh, Yuri of Bohemia is now the new, uh, the new emperor. I guess Austria must have some sort of regency council or something. Why is he not being elected? I don't, I don't know. I guess nobody favors Austria. It's a damn shame. Do I want to control the Curia? Not really. I don't know. We might go Protestant in this game. I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to think about it. Uh, Austria embraced the Renaissance. We should probably if we have any. Advantage in, in tech uh, or in points. We might want to do some development to help spread the renaissance. I don't want to fall too far behind. It's actually a relatively small development cost here in... Um, in Salem, our capital. There we go. Okay, so we have the renaissance now. We can actually embrace it already. Excellent, that worked out in our favor. Uh, 244.96 seconds to embrace it. Let's do it. Let's get rid of that tech cost. Um, wow, we're making a lot of money. Holy crap. Can I get Inquisitor? Yep, level one guy. Improved relations, plus 20%. Is that improved relations over time, or what is that? What is this? Is this, the, yeah, I think this is improved relations over time. 1.12 per month, huh? Is it worth getting him? Possibly. We have, a, we have some aggressive expansion. At least over here. Uh, sure, why not? And no army guy. I don't think we need it yet. Let's convert some stuff. We're gonna have a rebellion in Novgorod, most likely. We're a great power, so that's kick-ass. States want some control of territory. Here would be not bad. 5-5-4, five, five, that's pretty good. Belong to nobility, really? Wow. Okay. Um, I think I will give them. Oh no, this already belongs to the clergy. Actually, so that means we have to give them Nord Yiland. Okay. In fact, we need to make Danzig go to the burgers. Uh, we don't have any admin. We need eighty-one admin for that. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, we need to core that. We need admin for this. Well, no, either either that or we give this to Norway. That's true. That's my force limit. I have... Let's go ahead and get rid of... Yeah, we have a 22 force limit. I only have... Well, now I have 22 because I just got rid of those troops. Okay, so Scotland, what's up with you, dude? We have 9% war score from this? Really? Take Aberdeenshire. We own Aberdeenshire. What are you talking about? I expected we would have a lot more... Yeah, I thought we'd have a lot more of uh, War Square than this. We're going to occupy all of this, I think, and we're just going to kind of sit on these provinces here for, for a few years because I don't really want to go fight France. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, France just got jumped on. They're fighting me, England, and Castile. Castilian Provencal Excommunication War. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap. Poland just took all of the Teutons. It's just theirs. It is annexed. That's it. I'm, I'm telling you, they lowered aggressive expansion in this patch. I don't know how I feel about it. It might be a little too easy to expand right now, but oh well. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break here, guys. It's 1465. We're going to finish off this war in Scotland and do some other stuff here in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys soon.